Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. And guess what's back? Dan, what, what's the show called again? Photo News Fix. That's right. This is your Photo News Fix. This fix is brought to you by Rode, who want to fly one of you lucky koala bears down under to Australia, because that's down under. Every year, Rode creates a short film for the My Road Reel competition, and this year, they want you to write it. So head on over to bit.ly slash pick me road, Dan, I, I came up with that one, to get entered. But hurry, you have only until January 15th AED, which I guess means it's actually the 14th for the rest of us around the world, so good luck. First up, GoPro, who's been looking for a win, just got a dose of instant karma. Instant karma's gonna get you. Dan, who writes this stuff? You do. Oh. That's true. GoPro has announced they are killing the karma, their ill-fated attempt at creating a drone to compete with the likes of DJI. This news sent GoPro stock plummeting to the ground, similar to the issue the karma had with falling out of the sky after the battery failures, which forced a recall. GoPro has also confirmed they are laying off more than 250 employees, which is the second major reduction in their workforce in a short amount of time. On top of that, GoPro CEO Nick Woodman has had his 2018 compensation slashed to $1. I got you a dollar. Though GoPro is done producing the Karma, they plan on still servicing them for the 14 customers who actually own one. The forecast doesn't look good for GoPro, but I do expect them to take the company either private or get acquired by another tech company. Now you know they're in trouble when they drop the price of the Hero 6 right after the holidays by a hundred bucks to the price that it should have been when they released it originally. Next up, Sam Yang, also known as Rokanon, which I still don't understand, understand has released a 14 millimeter 2.8 EF autofocus lens for Canon. Up until this point, they've only offered autofocus lenses for the Sony FE mounts. For those who don't know of Sam Yang, they've been creating affordable yet quality manual focus prime lenses for both still and cinema cameras. Now I've been using the 50 1.4 manual focus lens for all of my desk videos back at the loft because of how sharp it is. No, really, Dan, it's actually really sharp around the edges. It has like things that are sharp. I do wonder if this lens will work well with dual pixel AF when shooting video, since it's not a native Canon lens. Now, if you've been wanting to go ultra wide on Canon, but didn't want to drop $2,100 for their 14 2.8, this lens could be for you. It's slated to ship in February at a price of 699 euros. Will you be getting one? Let me know down below. And finally, is Nikon nuts, insane, crazy, or all the above. At CES 2018, Nikon has announced their latest super telephoto lens. Get this, it's a $12,400 180 to 400 F4 VR FL lens with a built-in 1.4 teleconverter that clocks in at seven pounds 11 ounces. Nikon's director of marketing and planning, Kasuki Kawura, says this lens is a great example of how Nikon continues to push the boundaries of innovation and what's possible with pro level optics and high end imaging equipment. Well, that's kind of funny. They must have been looking at the Canon 200 to 400 f4 with built in teleconverter when the light bulb went off and they said, hmm, let's make it a 180 instead of a 200 and call it innovative. All joking aside, this is a popular sports and wildlife lens because of the super fast aperture. In my personal experience, the 200 to 400 VR1 and VR2 both lack the ability to capture sharp images. This time around, Nikon is using twice as many ED elements and even added a fluorite element for stronger teeth. Oh, actually it lowers the lens's weight and improves balance and doesn't strengthen your teeth. Darn. With a quick flick of a switch, you can drop the 1.4X converter in, turning your 180 to 400 f4 into a 252 to 560 millimeter f5.6 on a full frame body, which begs the question, why not save $10,000 and just get the Nikon 200 to 500 5.6 and call it a day? What would you get and why? The 200 to 500 or the 180 to 400? Is it worth the extra money? Do you even have the extra money? Let me know in the comments below. And there you have it. That's the first photo news fix in 2018. To check out the last fix that's old by now, go ahead and click on the screen right here. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. 
Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.